What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Lou Rod TV. And today, things are better. <laughs> One day at a time. Um, getting excited about opening day. I cannot wait. You know, uh, baseball is just so close. And we just did a nice little YouTube fantasy league. My team is fire, of course. Lots of Yankees, so I'll be celebrating or I'll be going down with the ship. But either way, at least it's my team. I don't think I have one red sock because I'm hardcore motivated. What else we got going on? Oh, I did a live stream with Dylan maybe a week ago. And uh, we were talking about modern cards. And uh, he asked me what I usually do when it comes to modern with all the parallels and craziness and taco fractors. How I collect modern. I simply told him, you know, when I, you know, find a guy I like, I go for the base card, the chrome, the refractor, and possible go after the gold parallel. That's just how I like to collect, keep it simple. Um, I think those are synonymous with the hobby, especially with flagship. You know, I do like the rainbow foils. If, um, they're cheap enough. But then I started thinking, I'm like, golly, I don't have my homeboy Anthony Volpe. I got his first Bowman, but I don't have flagship. I don't have his base because I'm not ripping cards like that no more. So um, I went on a little eBay hunt and got uh, a lot of those cards. <laughs> so super happy. It got them ungraded, so I got them cheap, you know. You know, the 10s were stupid high. The 9s were okay, but I know what a 9 looks like. Uh, when I get it in hand, I know what a 10 looks like. So I'm good paying the, the $5, $10 price of admission opposed to the, the 3, 4, 5x when it's graded. Love it. Get that modern coming. Um, got some autos coming. And uh, yeah, that's it. But... We're not here for that. We're here for Dan at Osarge Collects, celebrating uh, 300. And his premise is pretty easy. Um, what are your two favorite teams? And show a card from those teams with a nice little story. So as everyone knows, my number one team are the Yankees. Shoot, you just heard me talking about Anthony Volpe, my new PC. You know, Jeter, Judgy, Glaber, and now Anthony Volpe. The Italian Stallion, number 11, shortstop, gold glove, 2020. Um, yeah, I got off track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about baseball. Anyway, so my first team are the Yankees. Love the Yankees. Um, actually, I think it was like my third or fourth video. So this was like years ago. It's probably still on YouTube. Maybe I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, it was real simple. My grandfather, you know, I learned a lot about baseball through my grandfather. And my grandfather father was a diehard Mets fan. Loved the Mets. And um, loved hearing the stories and all the old timers. Um, not necessarily from the Mets, but just old Hispanic players, you know, Cepeda was his guy, but as, uh, the Mets, especially in the 80s, were, um, especially the Miracle Mets, just hearing those stories, and it was great, but I liked, <laughs> I don't mind confrontation, <laughs> and uh, I became a Yankee fan, just so we could have two sides of the aisle to argue all the time. So my whole family is pretty much from New York. My father was born in Puerto Rico, but lived in Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn, Flatbush. My grandfather lived in Brooklyn for 40 years. My grandmother, I mean, everyone has since moved down to Florida. But uh, yeah, ever since I was a kid, um, learning baseball, the Yankees were my team of choice. And uh, never wavered, baby, never wavered. But uh, it was fun. And uh until up to his passing, I always um, loved talking baseball with him and uh, asking questions. 
And uh, yeah, my grandfather was great with that. So that was cool. Um, there was something else going with that. I got lost track with everything going on. I just started remembering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old. I forgot what I was, where I was going with that story before I got all distracted and reminiscing. My grandfather is the reason why I prefer, um, I don't know, observing um, the game by radio like I love to listen to the radio like if I had a preference on what media to enjoy the game will be radio I just love it and uh, it's a it's a different type of appreciation when you have someone who knows what they're doing play by play call it uh, with the color commentary just the, you know the stories in between the plays and the analysis I just love it love it love it so that's where I was going with that. I love baseball on the radio the best because of my grandfather. And that's that's any any team. That's why I like the MLB app because you can listen to uh, the hometown uh, radio stations. And that's what I do when I'm driving. Driving in the garage, doing work. That's what I do. All right, so that's my, oh, and my favorite card Shout out to my boy, Ryan, at Hot Corner Collections. I have a lot of favorite cards. <laughs> if you have a lot of favorite cards, do you really have a favorite? But uh, I have a lot of cards that I enjoy and love in my collection. However, I want to show a card that I don't show too often. And this is a card given to me by a friend, Ryan, at Hot Corner Collections. Some of you know him. Um, came onto the scene hot and heavy great collection lots of modern enjoyed ripping and my man just disappeared <laughs> his channel's still out there I, I double check i made sure he didn't erase it so i'm gonna tag him in the video hopefully by tagging him he comes back ryan we need you back i'm going to cleveland national got a hook up let's go bro but my man gifted me this years ago he was ripping uh, Top's archive and hit this one of one CC Sabathia. I made a comment like, "Man, some people get all the luck." Congratulations! Some, some, I think something like that. And a few weeks later, he's like, uh, "Did you get a package?" I'm like, "I don't know." So I went to the mailbox and I had a package, and this was in there. So Ryan, I am forever grateful. It's a nice little. Let me flip the camera around. Yeah, nice little one one So shiny. Shout out to my boy Pino. Look at that beautiful future Hall of Famer. CC Sabathia, Tops Archive. One of one. That's a sick card. So thank you, homeboy. So that was team number one. Love this card. Always on display. All right, so a lot of people know I reside in Tampa, Florida. And uh, as a person who appreciates baseball for the sake of baseball, like I can watch anything. It doesn't matter as long as it's baseball. Uh, it drives my family crazy. But I have to show appreciation that I'm one of the lucky cities one of the lucky few that has an MLB uh, team nearby. It's not a crazy drive, 40, 45 minutes. And uh, that's the Tampa Bay Rays. And they're good. I mean, the last six years, they've won 90 games. They've won 199 last year. I mean, it's a phenomenal team. Great product. Um, the, the, the owner's um, phenomenal. The prices are cheap. Um, compared to, you know, being a Yankee fan, I've, <laughs> I've gone to Yankee Stadium and for the price I could get two outfield seats, I could get the same thing on the third base line. <laughs> it is what it is. It's even cheaper when I go to the Marlins game. But I appreciate the Rays. Quality product. Great team. Always a contention. It's a shame that they're in the same... Um, division and league as my number one team, 
but beggars can be choosers and I like watching the race. My PC mistress and my favorite card is this cut, <laughs> let me say that again. My favorite card is this cardboard cutout of me. <laughs> now, some of you might have done this, but in that crazy, crazy year of 2020, pretty sure it was 2020, was a perfect storm of a lot of things, politically, uh, globally, nationally, but COVID was one of them. And, uh, there was no seeing baseball that year. Um, at least, so I thought. They came together, they figured stuff out, and I forgot how long the season was. It was like 62 games, 61 games, something like that. But at least there was baseball. Um, it was a tragedy because we couldn't see it in person, but at least it was on TV. And uh, a lot of major league teams decided, hey, for those fans who can't be at the game, I mean, for a small fee, I think it was like 60 bucks. Um, you can upload a photo and uh, we'll print it out and put them in the field. And that's what they did. My wife actually surprised me with this. She was like, I know you're heartbroken because you can't see a baseball game. And like I said, she's ride or die. She's a keeper. She surprised me with this. And uh, they put me in right field. So I thought for sure. And one of the promotions were if, you know, a raised player hit a home run and it hit your cutout, they will send it to you. And they put numbers, individual numbers on each back. So that way, if it did hit, then they had your information to send you the ball. But uh, I never got a ball. <laughs> but still love it. And, you know, I remember when Longoria, the first $100 million player for the Rays, Pretty sure he was the first hundred million dollar. I just remember it was just big news because he was our first um, hometown. I mean, I know he's from Cali, went to college in Cali, um, but first drafted player by the Rays, high draft pick, panned out at the hot corner. Everyone loved him, and he resigned uh, with the Rays for a hundred million dollars, which everyone was like, "Man, the Rays are always nickel and diamond." They finally paid up. And it was long ago. And I remember going out to LCS to pick it up specifically because I'm like, this cat is going to be the face of the franchise. So, and I have Rocco Baldelli because Rocco Baldelli was the Italian stallion. Everyone thought he was going to be, especially in center field, but, you know, great manager now. But, you know, it was unfortunate that he had, uh, you know, he couldn't continue medically. Um, but, yeah, the, I mean, the Rays had some studs and a lot of duds. Um, you know, Delman Young, B.J. Upton. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they always have a, an exciting product. I enjoy collecting their cards. But, uh, yeah, that's it. My two favorite teams, Yankees, Rays. And I'm not sorry about it. So, Dan Osarge Collects. Hope you enjoyed my VR. Um, but yeah, that's it. Got more stuff coming in the next couple of days. And I don't know. Peace out. Go Yankees.